Sorry, I cannot deliver this message in person, but for the first time in over a year, I'm actually not in San Francisco, but on a plane right now, assuming it took off on time. My message is simple. Our community, the database researchers and developers is still central to progress. Broadly seen, we are and have always been the people who deal with the largest volumes of data possible at any given time. The more data we can handle, the more possibilities open up. For us, asymptotic complexity of algorithms matter. When n is as large as can be, uh, you can't get away with an O of n squared algorithm and say, well, the constant factor is really small. Some things never change. Though. The relational model is still interesting and natural and competing models of data like sparse matrices or semantic nets are really just special cases without any special advantages. But there are things that change every few years and that is what makes our field so interesting. Back at the dawn of time, uh, say the 1970s, we were the ones who worried about secondary storage and the fact that for us, locality of storage mattered. But the world didn't stop with disks. In the past 20 years or so, multiprocessing became the way to go if you had large amounts of data. Communication among cooperating processors became a fundamental issue and new software systems like MapReduce became important. More recently, new hardware architectures have had a major impact on ways to deal with large scale data. Mm -hmm. uh, the GPU is arguably the first important example, but there are other a uh, number of other special purpose architectures in the pipeline that provide some new and interesting challenges for algorithm design. So keep tuned to the latest developments and opportunities to again advance the world's ability to deal with the largest available data sets and the applications that will surely need them.